What's up, YouTube? All right, so we're going to do a checklist of what you need to do before the transmission is dropped. All right, so you want to have the starter taken out, which I've done that. Before you have the starter taken out, you want to have this con disconnected. All right, another thing. You want free access to this. So, this whole area, you, you don't want anything hanging you up, all right? If you have a stock exhaust system, I believe there is a bracket that you're going to need to uh, undo. I'm going to get the front drive shaft, the rear one. And that cable right there is for the speedometer. Get the transmission jack in place. I'm gonna get the floor jack. And I'm gonna get it so it's uh, resting right here on the transfer case. I'm gonna take this bracket down. This is what's holding it up right now. So what I'm gonna do is bring the uh, floor jack around jack it up right here so it's supporting it and undo these and move some jack stands around and hold it up with the jack stands release the floor jack it'll be held up by this and the jack stands and that's when i'll get the uh floor jack resting on that deal and i will slowly lower it and it should all just work out fine all right so this is how i got it set up Floor jack rests in there. Transmission jack there. Got it strapped up good so it's safe. And then I just need to uh, get the other four, bol four bolts on the other side. And then I will uh, move this transmission support out of the way and slowly lower it and slide it all out. So we got that big old bar out of the way. It's right there. I'm going to just slowly lower the jacks. Wish me luck. All right, so far so good. Just coming down good. Let's check out. See that gap there? She's separated from the engine, so that's good. All right, so we got the transmission out, or I got the transmission out. So a little hint, for getting the transmission out, you wanna pull the shifter knobs. And to get this one out, what you do is you push down and twist or turn, and then you can pull it right out. This one has a snap ring, which and it'll pop out, and then it'll just jerk right on out. And then a 24 millimeter socket at the bottom, drain your fluids. That'll help take some weight off, and also take the bracket off so you can access the bolts for the front drive shaft. Get that off. Get the slave cylinder off. Uh, what else? Oh, this right here, this tool that I have, it's for uh, brake calipers, spreading them open, or actually, yeah, actually closing the piston. That's what the, those are for. What I used it for was uh, put it right there, and then uh, that's how I was able to ratchet it off, because it's going to have to come off. Like, the way this comes off... If you've never done these before, is uh, you undo the bolts, and it has to come off reverse. Not really reverse, but you got to go backwards. Because of this fork right here. So, that is part two of this series. I think I'm probably going to do about four parts. 
got the uh, stage two clutch there. Got the shifters over there. So yeah, I just need to split the transmission open and I will get it back together. Oh, also, first time I've climbed underneath here since it's been removed. So, there's the old clutch there with the old flywheel. See, it's kind of discolored. So, it's good to be replacing that. Shafts, that'll save you a lot of hassle. Uh, having two jacks is another thing that's nice. But yeah, guys and gals, I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.